Hi, and good day. Forward head posture, pronated shoulders, looking down on your tablet, on the computer, driving with your arms out in front of you, all has a negative effect on the spinal ligaments, joints, and muscles, affecting the discs and affecting the nerves. As your neck sits in a normal C-shaped curve called a cervical lordosis, as you look forward like this, it becomes straightened. As you continue to look forward, the weight of the head being 12 pounds multiplies tremendously, adding a significant load to the spinal discs, causing disc herniations and pinched nerves. So these few exercises I really ask you to do regularly are going to make a big change to help fight this forward head posture and to make you feel as if your head is sitting taller with a longer neck. So these exercises are designed to allow the neck to become taller. As we lift up on that neck, the discs become wider, the head sits up taller, and automatically the shoulders come back as the chest comes out, making you have that proper alignment as your ear lines up with your shoulders. Realize that the cervical lordosis is supposed to have an inward C-shaped curve. When the head looks down, the curve is lost, putting excessive load on those disc structures, causing the disc to degenerate rapidly, leading to herniated discs and pinched nerves. And obviously, the worst of it is pain and dysfunction. So our objective is to allow the curve to stay in its normal physiological way and to lift the head upwards. As you lift the head upwards, you can see that the yellow nerves will have more space and the discs will have less pressure on them if you, if you maintain proper spinal alignment. So the exercise we're gonna do first, I'm gonna ask you to rotate your head to the left side. And the trick here is when you rotate, I want you to stretch the muscle on the left side of your neck. It's going to be your SCM muscles. And I want you to really feel that stretch. I'm going to go back the other way and push up, push the chin up and feel the muscle stretch. You're going to hold both sides about 20 to 30 seconds, but make sure when you turn, you really kind of push the muscle out, push your chin upwards, to feel that stretch of the SCM muscle. The next exercise is I want you to make sure you get your shoulders back and a nice long neck. But the trick here is imagine a string being attached to your chest. It's coming up your jaw, up where your jaw is, coming through your head to the top of your head. Now imagine someone pulling that string up to the sky. So as that string is being pulled up, the chest comes up automatically, the neck stretches as the head goes towards the sky, and feel that position of what it feels like to elongate the neck. That is a beautiful postural stance. Very healthy for the spine, very healthy for your posture with proper biomechanical alignment. And this last exercise is a great exercise. This is designed for people with forward head posture. And I like you to keep your chin in line with the ground and I don't want your head to go back or I don't want it to go forward. We're going to feel as if you're taking your chin and you're pushing it towards your back. As you tuck in, you're going to have like a double chin and you're going to hold it there about 15 seconds. And you're going to relax. You're going to come back, straight back like you're pushing, tucking your chin in, keeping the chin level with the ground. You'll feel a nice stretch behind the skull, underneath the skull and the front of the neck. You may feel real tight in there because you're strengthening those muscles. You're going to do about 10 repetitions of that exercise. The purpose of this is to stretch the suboccipital muscles that are locking down and squeezing and affecting that greater occipital nerve root that can affect headaches to go over the head behind the eyes or a lot of contracture and tension that you're feeling behind the neck and shoulders. The last thing you can do after that, you can take your two fingers, your thumb and your second finger and put it underneath the jaw. 
You're going to put it on both sides of the jaw underneath. You're going to take your other hand and grab underneath your skull. And I want you to push both hands up to the sky and stretch the neck upwards. Good. And hold it. About 15, 20 seconds. And you can relax. And you, could do th you could do three sets of those. What that's going to do is give the brain the opportunity and the feeling of what it's like to feel the neck open up and stretch. Realize, when the neck is opened up and it's stretched, the nerves have, have a lot of room to breathe. And the bottom line is less irritation and less compression and obviously less pain. So very important, realize that when the head goes forward, as we talked about in forward head posture, it's literally impossible to bring your chest high, to bring the shoulders back when the head's going forward. The stress of the head compounding by the weight of each inch you go forward is putting excessive load on those ligaments, joints, and those muscular structures. So remember, try to keep the ears over the shoulder and when you're looking down, texting on a computer, whatever you're doing, get into the habit of jutting the chin down rather than bringing the head forward. Leave your questions below. Please share this video and subscribe if you haven't. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.